Hello guys and welcome back to Play the J. We're about ready to get started with round number two right now here on the Physics Gaming Invitational Scrims. So we did see Frostfire able to take the first chicken dinner of the evening. So let's get stuck into round number two here on Miramar and see how the rest of these teams are going to be shaping up. Now apologies guys, I think um, in the first game some of the teams were not in the right slot so I think they have managed to move into the correct positions here so the team list that is on the video description should be correct. So do stay tuned uh, to see how that is going to uh, play a part here in tracking your favorite teams. And uh, as mentioned earlier on, uh, there is going to be a prize for the top team after the end of four scrims. So we had one last Friday and this is going to be number two and we have another two on the next two Fridays and uh, we're going to see all these teams here unfortunately Silver Wolves not here for this particular round I'm not too sure on the circumstances maybe they can't make it here but we do have 19 of the top teams here in Malaysia and looking forward to getting into round two and just a big thanks to everyone who's liked and shared out the stream really do appreciate it and uh, now looking at getting into this game here El Asahar we do have Vengeance and Physrix uh, gaming here dropping out quite early and uh, going to be potentially jostling for a position there as uh, we're already seeing others starting to drop out we see gang FTY going towards the Impala section over here stage gaming moving past La Bandita they do have uh, the rest of uh, Gaventure here Gaventure usually likes to go to the north of Los Leones and um, we're already seeing that uh, every not too many people stray straying away we see San Martin going to be occupied by Quacker at the moment just taking out San Martin for themselves here. They do have Physrix uh, Esports that they just have to be a little bit mindful of. Monte Nuevo here sees Face Gaming going to be together with um, Stadium Fighter, in fact. So they might be in very close proximity here at the moment as uh, currently they are a little bit uh, separated from each other here. And Stadium Fighter going to be rather congregated here at the moment. Sly Didi Kahaya and Lion Desert here but just be hanging out here on this uh, very central part there's going to be Chi very close by here, but he's going to probably navigate away just a little bit here. See what he can do in a different position. And the circle going to be all the way up to the north side here. So uh, I think we got slightly less than half of the teams here currently inside here at the moment here. But Sly DD going to be putting some shots in the direction of... Uh, Saravim here. But Saravim here going to also be maneuvering around here, but he's got company. And uh, looks like Slidey gonna bug down just a little bit here, but uh, Savrim here gonna be okay for the time being. As Slidey just gonna be moving over to the next building, see what kind of um, loot that he can get. But Chi and Zach is gonna be in very close proximity to the this current location at the moment. See how that's gonna work. Rascal gonna be a little bit further away there for the face gaming. And uh, now we're already seeing that uh, there's gonna be some teams here in very close proximity. Minon Kopi Jap here does spot out Vengeance here. Alan Lembu moving through this zone at the moment here he's taking a lot of damage there and esco rex gonna take him out of the game there so unfortunate for alan lembu it's, uh, it's two early games for him in a row but uh, see whether things will shape up differently in the second half here unfortunately it looks like minokopi jab in some of these smaller buildings here that maybe you might not expect vengeance and the the rest of vengeance here starting to move over towards the northern side see what other options that they can get the further north that you go the the further that you'll be going away from the flight path so Generally, you would be safer, but uh, we're already seeing that some teams do have the same idea. We see that Geek Fam going to the Crater Fields and La Cobrera. We do have Battle Arena Elites also going for that eastern side of the town. But Batman going to be a little bit further away. And in the last game, we did see that Battle Arena Elites did lose a few of their players here and there. And in our last... Uh competitive tournament that we had around these parts uh, was going to be the NVIDIA GeForce P Cup Pacific where we did see Battle Arena at least run away with that victory and going to represent Malaysia in China sometime in January. So stay tuned for that one and see whether there's going to be further news as to the timeline on that. But elsewhere in the circle here we do see Flash Vision they do go to Picado quite a bit here they're going to have this place pretty much all to themselves here. But uh, unfortunately, not going to be inside the zone here, which uh, actually the hard shift up north here is uh, going to be throwing teams off just a little bit here. But these teams are all quite competitive and, and very active in the, the Malaysian PUBG scene. So they will know exactly how they should be uh, working things out here. But looks like here, Sly DD going to knock down uh, 
Savarim here, and now Rascal going to reinforce the face gaming here for the time being, but uh, currently they are still very spread out. Sly DD not going to be going over there to try and secure the kill just yet, as he uh, does want to try and locate some of the other face gaming players here, but she going to get some shots there and um, really damage uh, a little bit. But now Slidey could just gonna hang out there, trying to see if he can get any shots there. But I do think that Savrim here would be able to get into a, a decent position to be hidden enough. But Slidey gonna wait for Line Desert and Kahaya to start moving in onto this position as well. Zach currently going to be hanging up on the high ground over here and see whether or not he can spot them out. Dini currently moving in also from the western side here for Stadium Fighter. But now Chi here does have some vision onto the, the players there from Stadium Fighter, but just not able to uh, get enough connections. But they're going to have to try and get the res off pretty soon here. Otherwise, Savrim here going to bleed out pretty soon. Uh, Rascal here going to back up Chi, see whether or not that Chi can get into a better position here. But Sly DD looks like he won't be able to spot out the players here coming in. But uh, Savrim here should be res here, no problem. Now, let's see how the, the rest of things are going to shape up here as we do see that uh, Gaventure here starting to fight with uh, Stage Gaming guys here. But looks like Stage Gaming here going to take first blood. Chilrex getting taken down by Wilts here. So now he's trying to get a little bit more information as to where the rest of the Gaventure players might be. But I think that the rest of them have uh, already moved up to Lampanita. So it's just Chilrex there all by himself. Now, Circle is going to start moving in 30 seconds. And um, this type of fight that we do see here in Monte Nuevo, not going to really benefit both teams. It's just a matter of fact that they're currently very locked into things at the moment here. So just not able to do too much. But Rascal getting some nice shots there onto Sly DD here. It's going to prime the nade here and try and get him out there. Just not able to get it through the window there. And now Sly DD going to be aware of the potential problems here. But Rascal getting knocked down by Lion Desert here. And uh, now looking a little bit on the precarious side things as now uh, Kahaya moving in as well. He's taken out Chi at the moment and now looks like Zach here takes him down as well but he gets surprised there by Dini who gets the backstab onto him now Savrim here going to get up Rascal at the moment here but they might be pushed there by the rest of Stadium Fighter they do still have four players available to them they just need to get the res off on Kahaya at the moment but uh, they're all outside the zone here at the moment here in Monte Nuevo so they're really going to have to think about what kind of moves that they want to make here for the time being Sly DD engaged from the outset there and now is still going to be hanging out there and leading the charge there for Stadium Fighter as Savrim and Rascal going to be bugging out just a little bit here but now looks like uh, uh leo here gonna no, take down hydrax man in rotation i think and uh he's gonna be finished off there for the time being looks like lemon gaming gold here gonna take down um haha goes from red sea as uh currently they're just trying to hang out in this uh central position red sea starting to congregate onto the position currently there is still gonna be pokoyo and uh, Don Pablo and Joku here going to be hanging out. Haha <laughs> Goose getting taken down a little bit earlier on. So now they're trying to get into a better position here. Pokoyo going to be inside the shack here and uh, going to be very close proximity to the Lemon Gaming Gold players here at the moment. But they're taking a lot of shots there from Joku here at the moment. And Sarabak's also taking some shots there from behind there as Don Pablo getting some nice flank shots there for the time being here. And uh, does not doesn't look, look good for Sarabix here, but Pokoyo trying to come around the side here. You might be able to see Sepulcher there, and Sepulcher taking quite a few hits, but Pokoyo not able to land that final shot there to take down that player. And looks like Red Sea here going to get wiped out by Lemon Gaming Gold here early on in round number two. And looks like we are down to 18 teams here, and Blue Zone starting to move in pretty quickly here at the moment. We're going to have to see how this um, shapes up, but it looks like Fizzer Esport here very close to Gold Army Factory here, 9 Holy trying to hold off this potential push coming in here and uh, he's actually moving up into the position here Luffy getting taken down there and is here moving into the position as well for Fizzrix Esports at the moment here and now Nine Holy going to be in a very difficult spot there but looks like Breeze here getting taken down himself and Linz is here going to be finished off as KMF1 comes to the rescue here KM stop uh, stuck out in the middle of nowhere here and now Hickey trying to do the best that he can while he's uh, just trying to hold this position but uh, looks like KMF1 here in a difficult spot KM going to be moving over here but he is uh, trying to get the res off for the time being Nine Holy has been res here for the time being but looks like Loopy here going to get caught out a little bit and now the nade is going to come out from Hickey there and uh, there's going to have to be a lot of movement but looks like KMF1 
Gonna get caught out there, but uh, now looks like it's gonna be a little bit more hectic here, but Night Holy able to come around the side there and finish off the Physrix Esports players there. And uh, he's gonna survive. It's the last player there for Gold Army Factory, but at what cost they did lose three of their players in that altercation. So they're gonna have to try and continue as they as they are right now. Geek Man here, now under a lot of fire there from Battle Arena Elite. Currently they are trying to just get some of those shots while they're in rotation here for the time being here. But uh, for the most part, uh, it does look like Ilo here just trying to get a few more shots in towards the direction from Savior. But it looks like Jang Savior gonna be a lot further away, but they might be running into Minion Copy Jump pretty soon here if they're not careful. Currently Jang's trying to return some fire towards uh, Leo right now, but uh, not making too many connections. Darkus and Rosex D here gonna be up in that building just a little bit further uh, to the north. Uh, East here, Rosex D here taking a, a hit there from Jang's. So he's gonna have to just be a little bit mindful. I think Geek Fam realizes maybe their position is not the most opportune at the moment here. Ilo here actually taking uh, a little bit of a journey there with this vehicle, but just trying to get into a better position for the time being. But now it looks like Jang's here, going to, just going to try and see if he can manage the situation. Modi and uh, Kenny here going to be moving in from the side. Now, looking at how the rest of things are going here, it looks like uh, Face Gaming here uh, does have multi Nuevo to themselves, but now currently it's only going to be Rascal here. I think Savrim here got taken out a little bit earlier on, as um, now we see Sidian Fighter moving into the position here, taken by previously by Lemon Gaming Gold, and where they eliminated um, the Red Sea players. So now they are trying to fend off this potential push coming in here, as uh, currently Sly DD very close by along the side of the wall. And Kahaya moving in with the Murado here, going to bring the reinforcements there for Stadium Fighter. And Mutt Drago here, just trying to hang out a little bit, see whether or not he can catch them out if they do come around the side here. Uh, but uh, for the most part, uh, we do see that uh, things are heating up over here as well as see here. Able to hit, catch out Mahdi there. And uh, that's going to be it there for him as uh, currently Kenny going to be up on the high ground. But Jank's starting to move in here and uh, take some shots there. But uh, Kenny also taking a bit of fire himself. Uh, looks like Savior here going to get taken down by Rosex D as there's uh, casualties on both sides at the moment. And um, Rosex D taking quite a few hits. Now Kenny trying to put some shots towards K Bytes and Esco Rex as they're trying to come down and back him up. K Bytes taking quite a few hits there, but Esco Rex going to be able to make enough connections there. And now Kenny going to be not down here and it's not looking good for geek fam here and uh, they did come in second place in round number one but uh, it's looking very precarious for them as currently they only realistically have jangs and savior to try and hang out in that side end but there's still the three players here from minimum copy job that who's in very good position here to, and uh, nicely spread out getting a lot of angles there it's going to be difficult for the withdrawal. Jang's already making his way there, uh, but Savior going to take a little bit of time there. Uh, I think he is just priming a nade for the time being here, but he's going to get spotted out a little bit. He takes a few hits there from Rosex D, and now he's going to have to try and get out of there as soon as he can. But now things are heating up here as phase two of the circle has revealed itself as currently Flash Vision here. Currently facing off against Quacker at the moment here as currently they are deploying a lot of nades there in their direction as uh, now currently uh, Gladys and Mr. Pa here out in the open but uh, Forza here is going to continue moving onwards. He's not able to see them with the, the blockage of line of sight there but Op looks in. Skyrex coming up over the top here and uh, Glad here is going to be in a bit of trouble and looks like Flash is going to get wiped out by Skyrex and Uplux and that's going to be it there for them here. They go out in 17th position here in round number 2. And it looks like Quacker here going to have uh, control of this spot here on the high ground and right in the center of the circle as well. Kenny going to bleed out there as uh, now it looks like Geek Fam here going to be in uh, a little bit of trouble there as currently they are still under very much uh, the purview there from Minnow Copy Jap and now Jank's gonna back out a little bit more with the vehicle there. Now Savior's gonna be in a bit of a spot here. He won't be able to withdraw as easily as Jank's there as currently there's gonna be even more attention in this direction. Jank's deciding to bug out of here at the moment here. He's taking quite a few uh, hits there and I'm not sure that he's gonna be able to get out. He spun out a little bit there and he's gonna be out in the open right now. 
but uh, looks like he's going to continue receiving a lot of fire here. And uh, looks like Frostfire also receiving a lot of fire themselves here. Our winners from round number one here in a little bit of a spot here as, as Genius Team starting to move in and doesn't help that Battle Arena Elite's also putting some fire in this direction as well. Abdul getting reduced down quite substantially, but Mr. Six and Revex here going to still be alive for the time being, but Nazi moving up on the side here for uh, Genius Team here as they look to place the smackdown here and looks like Usui here not able to get the right throwing stance unfortunately and um, he will still be able to throw out an aid there not going to be catching Adul I don't think but now everyone else starting to move in here as um, now we're seeing that City Fighter here really putting pressure on to Lemon Gaming Gold. They haven't managed to withdraw yet from this uh, warehouse complex here but it looks like Kahaya and uh, Dini going to be moving up onto the high ground here and might be able to get some good flanking shots. Fiber in here, going to be running out in the open with Sepuger here, taking quite a bit of fire as well from Kahaya. He's going to have to duck into cover, get the heal off just a little bit here while he does wait for things to develop a little bit more. But Dini also backing up Kahaya for the time being. Slidey starting to push a little bit closer towards his teammates and see whether they can get the angles there. But looks like Genius Team able to wipe out the whole of uh, Frostfire there and uh, really making uh, good use of the Graza they have available, but Slidey D getting a nice shot there onto Lemon Gaming Gold, and now they're moving down into position. So that's going to be some points dropped there from Frostfire, but uh, compared to the average uh, evening scrim, we won't be looking at the scores necessarily from just one weekend. There's definitely chances for all these other teams here to bounce back. I do believe that Gold Army Factory currently leading in the overall standings after um, uh, scrim number one here. So we're going to have to see how they're going to be shaping up here. They are still in this game at the moment. They only have the one player left. Le game round number one, they did drop some points. Geek Fam, I think, is in second position for the overall standings coming into today. But we'll see how the rest of this will be shaping up a little bit here. We see Battle Arena at least still having four players left uh, at the moment here. And um, if they can keep their players up alive here, they can definitely do some serious damage here in the later stages. Unfortunately, in round number one, we did see a few of their players getting eliminated early on and uh, it didn't help them into the later stages as Batman was the only player left alive. But now Lemon Gaming Gold here still trying to get away from this position but Fiverr here done just so much pressure and Kahaya with the M16 uh, uh, single tap there going to finish him off and looks like Stadium Fighter going to move in with six kills into the mid game here as uh, now we're already seeing uh, a lot of pressure coming in uh, and from o from uh, they don't probably drop here as they do see that uh, Gang FTY rotating around the north side here as uh, there is going to be a little bit of a shooting gallery here maybe enough distance between them that they're not going to land too many shots there and looks like Dankirk here going to be able to avoid taking too much damage in that instance and now they are going to continue rotating a little bit here. Minocopy copy jump as they do need to get inside the circle. Uh, Gang FTY starting to move in a little bit closer here. See whether or not it can get them into a better spot. But now we're seeing Chao Wei and the rest of Battle Arena at least starting to move in on this position. They have sight of Quacker on top of the high ground here and putting some shots towards him. Loki's going to disable the vehicle right now. Is uh, currently still trying to put more pressure back towards them. But now we're seeing Gang FTY going right into the center of the circle as uh, currently this is really a lot of teams here just perched along the sides of the high ground here at the moment and just trying to land more of those connections here see what they can do. But uh, for the most part here it looks like Gang FTY is still able to escape and uh, try and get a little bit further away while they take that very central compound here. But now everyone else is on the move here. Rascal going to be the last player here for base gaming here. Let's see how he's going to shape up against the, the... I think it was the... Any fighter players that really did a lot of damage to them, but looks like he's going to get caught out there. As D was just a little bit of bait while Kahaya and Dini did come from the high ground. So that's going to be a little bit of boost there, and unfortunately it looks like the face gaming going to go out early on in this game. But now we're seeing Genius Team moving in from this northwestern side and starting to try and get into a decent spot. They do have this high ground advantage going for them here at the moment. Gang FTY trying to return fire to Quacker. They do have a very nice high ground advantage, but they are in very clear view of most of the teams that we would have in this region. As uh, currently they are sparring just a little bit here as uh, there's going to be stage gaming as well that does have a bit of vision and of course there's the compound occupied by physics gaming 
So, Physrix Gaming here going to be occupying uh, very separate buildings there, but Quacker will have quite good angles and vision here over the, the surrounding areas from their position on the high ground. But uh, now Circle here has almost finished. We're going to have to see how these teams do want to shape up their further rotations here as we're going to get to the 20 minute mark pretty soon. And it's going to make it very tough for all these teams here to try and find those good avenues to try and get into a better spot. Circle is going to shift up north and Quacker is going to be really pleased with that result there. As, uh, now it looks like a whole bunch of teams here. City Fighter, um, we're going to have the, the players also of ONE Esports and Stage Gaming and... Um, Venture all have to move in here pretty quickly here and battle arena at least starting to congregate maybe towards Batman's compound there it does give good high ground vision there from this whole presiding area but genius team out here also on the move here they are going to mobilize their vehicles here they do have battle arena at least that they do have to worry about currently Charway and um, Ilo here gonna be bugging out of the vehicle early on and uh, see whether or not they can hold this push from this low ground here currently trying to move in and see, I don't, I'm not sure if they saw Yusui here earlier on, but they surely will see Paid coming in down from the high ground there on his bike there. And now Chia Wei going to see whether he can spot out any more of the other players coming down there. But now everyone's starting to move in. Bad Man's going to see a lot of the Genius Team players here making their moves. And um, currently two of them still going to hang out on the high ground, but it's just not inside the zone right now. So they can put the pressure on all of them right now. But Sage Gaming starting to move in here, and currently Alan's going to be here all by himself there for Gang FTY. Gang FTY is still in the low ground positions here for the time being. Rain Zara are going to get a nice headshot onto Munye, but looks like Physics Gaming got to steal the kill there for the time being. And now Leo here might be in a position to stop Paid. Paid would have heard that shot there, and now Leo here might reevaluate whether or not he wants to hold this position further for uh, his team. But now it looks like Mox here trying to move in there for vengeance at the moment. Alan's going to get found out there by Sage Gaming here and Nine Holy getting spotted out by Afam and now Afam going to put more shots in this direction and looks like Nine Holy going to go down Gold Army Factory getting eliminated in 13th position here but Mox also going to get spotted out and looks like NJR is going to get the kill there and looks like Vengeance is going to be finished with and uh, now Physics Gaming here going to be very aware of all these teams here starting to push along the side and see whether or not they can prevent this from getting uh, too bad from their current position here. Rain's Error going to take quite a few hits there. But uh, you know, not taking too much damage. But looks like he's still going to get taken out anyways. As Daisy Daisy goes down. Physics Gaming here starting to move back towards their compound after taking quite a few hits. Afan moving up onto the high ground at the moment here. They're still taking a lot of hits from Quacker there. They haven't forgot about them yet, but they do have a 2 2 split going on here. They're going to cover two different angles here, and they do have a nice uh, loot crate right in between them, but uh, going to continue putting that pressure. We do see that ONE Esports here going to try and put that long-range pressure themselves here, as currently the amount of space and cover is fast decreasing here, as these teams really just going to be completely compressed against one another here. They're going to make life difficult, but looks like Apa is able to get some revenge, but look, not before he gets knocked down. Rain Zara here still going to be knocked down at the moment and NJRX is going to have to try and get off the smoke here and see what he can do while Afam is not going to be too much hope for him in this situation for the time being here and now looks like um, Fisher Gaming here going to just hang out a little bit as they try and get the angle of Jay-Z Jay-Z moving out here and uh, I'm not sure if he's going to just try and confirm the kill only here as uh, he's putting himself in quite a bit of danger here, just trying to fend off any potential push coming out here. But looks like um, Jiao Wei here coming up big there for Battle Arena leads as they're seeing all the Genius Team players starting to come down and uh, they're really not making life difficult for them. Joker has been taken out and uh, currently uh, looks like only Yusui and Paid going to be on the lower ground as currently Stadium Fighter also trying to move in. They have all four team members right there moving in from the western side of the circle and Batman currently here all by himself but they do have a good spread here. They will have a lot of angles and can prevent a lot of that further advancement. Now Savior here, the last player for Geek Fan, starting to move in from the northern side here. He does have Esco Rex and Rest of Minocopy Shop. I'll have to find this spot here, but Esco Rex going to get caught out there from the nice headshot. And now he's going to see if he can move around. But K-Bytes and Rosox D here moving into the position. Try and spot out Savior if he comes around the side here. And Savior going to take a few hits there from K-Bytes as uh, they're trying to get Esco Rex out. And looks like Rosox D going to finish off Geek Fam. And that's it for Savior.
and um, now looking at uh, how things are shaping up here we still have top one Saika here uh, gonna be out here in this position and Rose FC here trying to put those long range shots onto Rain Zera and NJRX as Conventure just really not in a decent spot right now as they're just facing pressure from all directions here but top one Saika here gonna get some good flanking shots from the high ground there and he put some good shots there on Rosex and he gets taken down and uh, looks like Minakopi Drop gonna be down one player there but looks like uh, Gang FTY able to finish off all the players there from ONE Esports as they were really forced to try and move out at the same time there and Gang FTY gonna have that solid position in the south part of the circle but looks like Quacker here is still gonna be in pole position in terms of the overall spots and Xiaowei gonna be hanging out in the spot there he does have paid just above him and we're gonna have to see whether or not he's gonna be able to catch him out there I think he does hear him dropping out there and paid gonna be going through the smoke right now and he's gonna take up position there but not before Loki's able to shoot through the smoke there and Yusui here gonna get caught out by Xiaowei and it looks like Battle Arena Elite's gonna finish them off genius team and now looks like uh, he's been spotted out by quacker so he's gonna have to try and heal up a little bit he does have that vehicle right there but i would put it up to quacker to disable that vehicle here pretty quickly and it looks like a venture here and yeah, minocopy job here um gonna be duking it out here as uh currently andrew eric's just trying to keep rings era alive here he gets knocked down a little bit there but looks like nice shot coming out there from njrx and he takes down k bites and uh that's gonna be it there for minocopy job here as currently we see quacker here facing off the whole of stadium fighter as they're coming up the hill there's some losses on both sides here but they're still lying desert and slide is still alive there for stadium fighter and they finish off the west of quacker right now and dini should be res as well so they did lose one of their players but it's still looking good for them as um, now the circle here has almost finished con um Finish it, its cycle right now. Is Stage Gaming here going to hang out at this uh, warehouse complex at the moment here on the southeastern side? Physics Gaming here. Still four players up here and looking pretty good here getting into the later stages as uh, Battle Arena Elites also ha having control of their side of the circle. But I think they, they did hear all of the, the fighting that was ongoing there just now. And now they are making their way onto the better position here to try and assault them as Dini might be spotted there by Batman here but he's gonna take his time the nade falls nicely for Loki's there bounce just bounces off over the top here but looks like that's gonna be a um, three of the players there from City Fighter cleaned out by Battle Arena Elites. Eight kills here in this game. And they're having a much better round number two. And Circle gonna be quite central again. Battle Arena Elites probably can move into the high ground and be in a decent spot. Gang FTY gonna be in the southern part of the circle. They are gonna start mobilizing and moving there. But uh, I, I fear that um, Battle Arena Elites might have their number here. They do have the high ground already. They do hear that they are coming onto this position here. And not only that, Stage Gaming here making life difficult for Gang FTY if they're trying to get into that better position. Mudpar going to escape just over the crest over there, but uh, currently it's only two of the Gang FTY players here to try and deal with the situation. Xiao Wei going to move up towards the northern side here and see whether or not he can get any uh, position to see any of the players uh, coming in from the other flank there as uh, the rest of Battle Arena at least holds this current position. But M0 going to make his way over uh, pretty late over here. Waiting to see how things are going to be developing here. See whether he needs to give additional cover for the rest of his team. But now Stage Gaming here might make their move here pretty soon. Uh, but uh, looks like they are starting to, to put more pressure onto Gang FTY. They're still going to be on that hillside at the moment here. And NJR is trying to deal with it himself. He takes down Awang. And uh, now looks like Ifang also goes down here. And looks like NJR is going to have to reload at the crucial moment here. And looks like uh, that was a bit unfortunate for him. He did take down two of the players that from Physrix Gaming at the moment. And um, now Jay-Z, Jay-Z has to make a decision here. As uh, currently, I don't think that he's going to be able to get the reses off just yet without taking some serious damage here. But Battle Arena Elite starting to move on to the high ground. As uh, currently Gang FTY almost in position here. And uh, looks like Dankirk already has to get try quite the heal off right now. As Loki is starting to come up from the left side here and see whether or not that he can get some better shots here at the moment as currently he has primed the nade he is going to come up over the top he's going to have the best view on all the gang fty players and he has to try and connect the shots there but now gang fty knows he's there and he's going to just try and hold his ground while the rest of his team gets into position i leo starting to move down from the side here takes down Manfara and looks like m0 under a lot of pressure but looks like he's going to get taken down there but now batman is going to try and protect uh, their player, 
and now M0 is taking quite a bit of damage here as he's trying to jostle for the position. Currently, Dankirk, M0 are the only players up here. I don't think that they can help Manprong. Xiao Wei coming all the way down here. Currently, none of these teams here going to be inside the zone. Stage Gaming taking advantage of this and moving inside that very central compound here as the nades are coming out. Manprong is finished off here, but more and more nades just flying through here. But it looks like uh, Dankirk and M0 are going to be far enough away here that they don't have to worry too much about this position. But uh, it's still not easy. Chao Wei actually bugging out. Leo here not going to make it out of this battle at the moment. And Battle Arena at least forced to go towards the circle. As they're going to get uh, halted just a little bit here. But now Fraser Gaming here did manage to get up some of their players there. After they were like right on the edge of the circle there. And... Um down by NJRX earlier on. Badman taking quite a few hits there from Jay-Z, Jay-Z and Co. But uh, now they are moving in. The stage gaming does have that good spot. But now the circle here is in no man's land. And stage gaming can afford to wait until the very last minute to try and get in there. But looks like Physrix Gaming here might be in a good position to try and move along this hillside. Currently Gang FTY also pretty uh, decent there. They can move down. It's just that they have to uh, duke it out specifically with uh, Physrix Gaming here if they want to try and make it through. Now Battle Arena at least going to hang around the northern side or the northwestern side here for the time being and see what they can do. Top one Saika here moving out in the open. Going to get caught out there. Awang also trying to pop up, see what he can do. He's taking quite a few hits himself there. As now there's going to be Jay-Z, Jay-Z trying to move in a little bit closer here and try and get into a better flanking position. He might might be able to get some vision, but currently Dankirk and M0 might be able to get the good shot onto him. But looks like uh, be it Battle Arena Elites here might be opting to take it very slow here. They're going to let everyone duke it out with each other here before they try and do too much. But Jay-Z, Jay-Z here in full sight of Dankirk. Dankirk already eliminating one of the players here. And it looks like that's going to be it there. And uh, the rest of Physrix Gaming here going to be eliminated here in fourth place and now there's only going to be stage gaming gang FTY and battle arena elites left here in this game as currently we see stage gaming going to continue to hang out there and um, they might opt to wait a little bit longer but it's going to be very difficult here as currently everyone knows that they are in that position here and just to come down out from the building here is going to be difficult and looks like Dankirk here also facing a lot of pressure M0 moving down to the low ground already as uh, currently Sim here moving down but M0 going to have some Good angles there, and uh, Sim going to run all the way here, but looks like enough pressure there from M0 as he took, takes out the tire there. And Sage Gaming going to be uh, cut down one of their players there, as now Battle Arena Elite starting to push in here. Loki's getting the knock there onto uh, Kids Young, but looks like Batman going to come up there to take down Wilkes as well. Now, looks like only Junebit here is going to be left. Dankirk still putting pressure onto Battle Arena Elites there from the high ground here, and they're going to have to start moving in pretty soon here as currently there's only one player left here for stage gaming Junbin here gonna hang out here on the high ground Loki's getting taken down from him and now Battle Arena elites might not be able to do too much about the situation here but Junbin here gonna be taking some damage from the blue here and Junbin opting to take or rather get the kill but he's gonna get eliminated by the zoo blue zone right now and now it's a two on two situation here between Batman Xiao Wei against Danker and M0 so Battle Arena elites and Gang FTY are gonna go at it um, and uh, currently it does look like Gang FTY does have a decent position here. Now I'm not sure how many nades that the Battle Arena Elites has here. They're not going to be able to really deal with um, uh, Dankirk unless uh, pops up too much here but Xiao Wei still has one frag grenade available to him as uh, currently there's only going to be 30 seconds left here. M0 does have this position but currently the circle here is in the middle of nowhere so really with M0 in this position, he can wait for quite some time here for the Battle Arena Elite players to try and make their move. Now, currently, Chao Wei just trying to get some vision. I think he spotted out where M0 is. He's trying to get the nade off here and uh, get a very good uh, throw here. But unfortunately, that's his last nade going here, not uh, going all the way here. Now, Chao Wei, I think they don't know exactly where Danker is right now as they're still trying to spot out where the last player is. They know where M0 is, but they uh, haven't spotted out Danker just yet. Now Danker might be in a decent spot here to catch them out, but Batman here going to be fairly exposed and Danker knocks him down there. Chao Wei taking hits as well as Danker comes up with the... Uh, double kill play there and Gang FTY able to come out on top here in round number two as uh, they claim nine kills in that game that they 
were looking at it like they were in a very difficult spot there, but uh, BAE didn't push in to finish off that fight when they had the, op the opportunity. And uh, looks as though that's going to come back to haunt them, but they were able to clean out the rest of stage gaming here, but they did lose one of their players in the process. So Gang FTY going to take round number two here. Three kills apiece there for Dankert, M0, and Manparam. Second place, we have Battle Arena Elites uh, getting four kills through Lokis there and um, three kills by Leo there as they had a very concerted effort in that game. They're looking pretty good there, but taking a few losses here and there. And in that two on two situation, they didn't pick up where Dankert was. He was in that very good position there to try and catch them out as they were forced to come down from the high ground and try and get into the circle. Third place, we have Stage Gaming uh, taking a very solid spot there. They took that very central. Uh, location there after there was uh, all that fighting going on between Battle Arena Elites and Gang FTY earlier on and able to use that quite uh, quite well but they did get a little bit sandwiched there there was Gang FTY on the side and then they did have Battle Arena Elites moving in from the eastern side so that was always going to be difficult Physrix Gaming here going to come in fourth place there as uh, they're able to pick up three kills to boot in the process and to round up the top five we do have Gaventure coming in fifth place NJRX coming up big there um, but unfortunately by the time that he eliminated the a minute copy job uh, he was going to be the only player left there and he had to try and fend off the whole push there coming in from physics gaming but overall gg and well played guys so again we'll be taking a short break here while we wait for round number three to be ready and uh i hope you enjoyed the stream so far thank you so much for all the shares and the the likes do really do appreciate it i'll see you guys in just a little bit